Bismillah. So what we're doing right now is we're going to discuss a little issue that cropped up concerning the police and Fanda Ministries with uh, special emphasis on Lizzie Schofield, a member of Fanda Ministries, Jay Smith's group, that is. So on Friday, the 24th of March, I get a message from Lizzie via um, Facebook and she states, Yahya Snow, do you have any comment on this video? She links to Saeed's video. Uh, we'll get on to uh, Saeed's video and the contents of his video in a few moments' time. She goes on to say, this video that accuses me of being from a hate group while including a special effect of me being shot in the head. Now, I'm not entirely sure what's, what's going on here. She goes further and states, I've reported this to the police and the Home Office. So initially, I'm a little bit con confused. I'm thinking Home Office that's like the department that deals with immigration. So I had to yeah. Google, and uh, <laughs> the Home Office also deals with counter-terrorism, so it makes sense. Initially, yeah. I thought that she was trying to get somebody deported. <laughs> um, so my response, I'm in utter shock. Um, I'm, I say, Lizzie, no, I don't agree with that. I absolutely deplore any intimidation and anything immature that will leave somebody Im intimidated, much less a mother and a wife like yourself, yada, 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 okay? So um, I get time to watch the video. So I respond, whilst waiting for my colleagues to turn up, I have just skimmed the video and I assume you were referencing the effects at the start of the video. I think you've misunderstood that effect. It is an, Im uh, it is an imitation of what Kalam from Titans TV does at the beginning of his vids. Um, Sonetta TV also does the same. I'm confident that this had no ill intent behind it, but she's quite adamant. She's like, there's no ambiguity. It's clearly designed to simulate me being shot in the back of the head. So this is quite a serious allegation. Are you seriously telling me he intended something else, a firework, come on? And I respond, Lizzie, come on, I can, hand on heart say that this is not a situation, This sorry, this is not a simulation of some violent act. The guy has just copied those effects. Let me get in touch with him. So I do get in touch with him. And yeah. Said, what's your uh, initial reaction when I do alert you to this? I was like in shock, you know, I was thinking, what is going on? Like, like, I was in complete shock. And, um, you know, they, I was like feeling emotional. I was thinking like, really, Lizzie, like, is this how low you're going to get? gonna try to like you know I think she wanted to get me arrested and um, as I said you know recently in Kikis Corner we've been getting a lot of um, shahadas and I've, we've noticed the atmosphere from the Christians it's been like, aggressive hasn't it yeah. yeah it's been really like they've been really like aggressive and they've switched their tactics and now using ISIS and those sort of uh, terminologies and yeah stereotypes yeah they've, they've been using you know they're trying to, it's like they're trying to bait us and obviously, you know, like we, to, we, you know, we know, we know not to react. And um, I think it's got, it's like a whole range of whole range of things, really. And um, and what it was the day that Sunday that Brother Paul Williams who um, called Lizzie and Jay up, what happened was she was like in shock, like she was like, I think she, she it looked like to her she was gonna cry. I'm telling you, yeah, it's like. You know, she was in shock. So I think um, they didn't. What like was Paul it. telling her? To, in that, in the previous video, he was saying um, that uh, if you if you can go over actually what he was talking about, what he was ex uh, accusing Lizzie of. Well, uh, he was saying like, no, Ilias, go on, you cover right. that. He was there as well. Lizzie yeah. wrote a blog on her Fanda website about the hijab, and yeah. Paul was pointing out that some of the wording she used was quite hateful and that uh, it reminded him of uh, the second world war when the nazis used similar tactics against the jews so she mm. took offense to that but the thing is i've never seen lizzie so uh shell shocked by this i think uh, she she didn't expect to be called a nazi or she hey, called an extremist yeah. extremist group but what they didn't like is the fact that it actually stuck on, on to them. It's, it's not something that was labeled without uh, any background to it. Yeah. So that's what took them by, by surprise. And I think it was just a retaliation to that. 
Yeah, and, that, and then they started, right, they started trying to flip the same type of tactic on you guys in Speaker's Corner, yeah, right? Yeah. They started calling you guys ISIS now, trying to equate that us calling them Nazis is like them calling us ISIS. Yeah, uh, they, well, this was the next Sunday, the Sunday after they started calling us. Uh, I, I think Paul, brother Paul, uh, putting a background to the claim that they were Nazis, for, for instance, we know they're not, but putting a background to it, the writings of uh, Lizzie, made this more, uh, what's the word, uh, more stickable. Yeah. More, uh, uh, more applicable to what they're actually uh, doing than, yeah. Yeah, there's a background to this. You're writing about hijab. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but, yeah but, there's but, no but, reason. Hold on, there's... hold on, guys. Don't, before we get into a, a general discussion on this, we want to focus on the sting in the tail because it did transpire that Lizzie did not report anybody to the police nor yeah, the police. Like, do you want to yeah, elaborate on that side because you okay. went to the police station yeah so the next day um i went to the police station and um obviously i, I had to wait about what, an hour so i did so it did take a lot of my time and it did cause me distress you know because you know the previous night like, i wanted to go at like like what it was like 12 o'clock midnight one o'clock and i just like i was wanted to go to bed you know i was in shock and um, so anyway, so I was like kind of like thinking, you know, like, what if they come to my door? What if, you know, I was thinking all sorts of, she calls me distress, you know. Anyway, yeah. so, um, so the next day uh, after I had some few things to do. So I was going to go first thing, but I didn't. Then uh, around afternoon, I think it was afternoon, late afternoon, I went and uh, waited about an hour. And then um, I made, you know, I went to the counter. What, what time was this in the afternoon, huh? Yeah, yeah it was yeah, late afternoon, late afternoon. It was, okay. uh, I can't remember the exact time, but it was late afternoon. Anyway, right. um, I made, I told, I explained my situation, situation and um, showed the video to the officer. And um, basically, he laughed it off. Like, he's saying, really? Like, like, he goes, you know what? This is like wasting police time. But wow. then again, he did say, he did say, look, he, uh, well, it is terrorism, so we do... Like he's serious, we look into it, but he kind of laughed it off, laughed it off, and um, and I said, look, she did say she made a report, so he said, okay, let me check the system, and he, they checked the system, him and his colleague, it was another female female uh, officer, they checked the system. There's nothing there, like like in my name or anything like that. There's nothing there on the system that they could find. So they mm. said, look, there's nothing there. So they they did say, look, if they made it at the local station. Maybe it might be at the, it's not serious enough to hit the like a national database, or they, they could be in the station. But they're saying, look, it's highly unlikely because it's, it's like anything to do with like terror, hate. It's like straight away different different departments apparently get like linked up, and uh, you know, it's like looking into it quick. They don't they don't waste time. So, yeah. um, well, she know, might they, have went to the station and they reviewed it, and then they said, well, this isn't enough to be considered a threat or intimidation. Yeah, uh, probably, probably, probably. Yeah. She, that's what the police officer said. That's what they said to me. They, um, you know, you never know. She could have gone, but I got nothing to worry about. I've seen the video. Um, there's nothing like that. And he said, then I showed. Look, there's a comment I got from their side, and I showed it to them, and they said, look, that's got more of a weight, more weight to, like, more yeah, more of a threat. Like, you know, with the comment that um, I received saying that, oh, uh, I'm going to paraphrase. Like we've seen you taking your mask off, you've seen your face, you're gonna suffer the consequences. You know, like giving the, you know, like giving the impression that we're gonna get you. And, uh, and who was this? Back. Just a, just anybody on the, or was it well, somebody known? Uh, it's it, uh, it's definitely someone that Lizzie and Jay and it's one of the people who goes to Speaker's Corner, and it's or you know it's, it's someone that they know. Okay, because. Okay. Because what it is, I pulled up the next Sunday, the following Sunday, the Sunday just gone. I pulled up, uh, what's his name? Um, the video, what's his Patrick, name? Hatton. Patrick Hatton. So I pulled him up on it, and uh, straight away he mentioned Steve's name, a guy called Steve Cleary, Cleary or something, the guy who made the comment. And um, yeah, it's like they, it's like they talked about it. And uh, as soon as I mentioned it to him, um, Paul, Paul goes, uh, what's it called? Paul? What's his name? Sorry again. Hatton. Uh, um, Patrick, Patrick, yeah, sorry. Patrick goes, um, yeah, you know, I heard about this. We spoke to Lizzie about it. 
and he said, look, uh, you should speak to her. I can't really get into it. Um, things was, you know, he, he was like trying to back her up. And then again, he was saying, look, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, that was because he knows. Because I said, look, that's out of order. You're trying to use like terrorism. Like it was nothing. It was a special effect. As, as a form of intimidation, that's what she was doing. She's using the yeah. terrorism laws and over-exaggerating her critics and trying yeah. to exploit it for her own means. Um, and not only that, not only that, yeah. after the attacks, after the attacks of Westminster, she's like, you know, using like a, you know, and timing is bad on her side as well, trying to use it again, you know, for her own agenda. Like, you know, so it's yeah. sad, you know, people lost their lives. It's not a joke. You don't, you don't use, yeah, yeah, they yeah. pulled through it up. You don't, you don't use, you don't use things like that for your own agenda to lie. You know, that's sad. It's very sad. Yeah. They did, you know. So, yeah. But, but Saeed, just going back to Patrick, Patrick Hutton. Yeah. I don't know if you've noticed on the video, the, the video in question that you uploaded. Uh -huh. um, he commented uh, maybe about five days ago on that uh -huh. video. Uh -huh. I think noticeably, I didn't read. Yeah, noticeably, on. his comment makes no mention of that uh, special effect. He did. There you so, go. He doesn't appear to think that that's an issue. Otherwise, he would have yeah. raised it, in my yes, view. It. Yes, he would have. Yes, you're right. He didn't. Actually, yeah, I remember now. I even I even mentioned that to him on Sunday. I said to him, Patrick, uh, you left a comment. You you could have you would have mentioned it. You would have picked up on it straight away if it was if it was so intense and so obvious. And he goes, look, uh, I, I you know he's in the middle now. He knows that. Look, he can't like exactly blatantly say, yeah, you know, you're right. So he said, look, all he said to me is speak to Lizzie and, uh, you know, I can't, you know, you know, I'm sorry what happened, you know, misunderstanding. You know, he was just trying to brush it off and all but that. And I, you can, can, can we just focus on this firework effect? Um, she yeah. said yeah. she initially thought it was a simulation of her being shot in the head. What I did do is I trolled through, because I know Titans TV used this effect. Okay. Yeah, thanks for that, videos. you know, you know, I appreciate that because, um, like, you know, like, you quickly clicked, like, that bit came to your head because I would have, like, you know, you know, wouldn't have thought of that straight away. So I really appreciate that, you know, using oh, that as an example. Oh, no, that, that's fine. I, because I've seen Sonetta TV do it as well. That's one in America. But if you go on YouTube, uh -huh. if any listener goes on YouTube, if you... Uh -huh. Um, type in Hamza versus Sara. Sara is spelled uh -huh. S A capital R A, and then the title of the video is Allah, Racism, and Ancestors Speakers Corner. This is on Titans TV. If okay. you go to um, time frame 18 seconds, you'll see uh -huh. exactly the same effect that, uh, side and yeah. the same for. Um, time frame 24 seconds. So okay. that effect is something that everybody uses just to show yeah. heated arguments, etc. Yeah. Where do you get the Where do you get the effect from? Anyways, you downloaded it off a, of a effects website or? Um, no, I did, uh, it's uh, what was it? It's called I think it was an app called Videorama. I think okay. it's Videorama. What it was the, the my intention why I put the, uh, put that uh, firework display up because well, look, it was a heated discussion. It was like fireworks. It was an explosive yeah. situation. So I, you know, I thought... Um, no, huh? nah, that was something else. That's just something else. Yeah, no, nah, that was something else. But anyway, um, my whole intention was, like, trying to show the audience, my audience, like, it was an explosive situation, fireworks, um, you know, it's fireworks, heated discussion. That's all. Nothing else. And is, is there a default... Okay, when you put in the effects, is there a default area where the fireworks explode? Or no, did you that's move the middle. It? The only thing is, only thing is, you, I can't enlarge it. If I made it more big, it would have been, it would have looked more. They would have had no leg to stand on. If I made, if I could yeah. like stretch it, but I can't. That that's it. That's the only size I can do it. And it would look, it would. If I took that effect and put it in the corner, it wouldn't look nice. It has to be in the middle of the screen. So, um, but that's yeah, that's, of course. that's the reason yeah. behind it. So, um, so she yeah. wasn't. She was in the middle talking. Then when the effect happened, yeah, right? when the fireworks thing went off, it kind of back of her head, but then she moves moves a bit. When the firework kind of ends, um, it's not exactly uh, like she moves out, moves out of it, and it's like oh. part. Yeah, it's not exactly on her all the time. So it's you know you can't. Yeah, you know, but but so, Saeed, I did actually screenshot um, the uh, time frame twenty seconds. The inception uh -huh. point. You you started your video effect 
um, when uh, Lizzie was not in screen, she wasn't in the frame. So there you go. Yeah. it starts at 20 seconds and it's, it's on Paul Williams's hand and the cameraman yeah. in the background. And I, I've yeah. screenshot this in a blog article. It's all there. So anybody yeah, I've seen that. I've seen really that. I, 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 yeah. I, was, yeah. I, was, I was driving, so I couldn't read it properly, but I've seen the screenshot. Well, as, yeah. as somebody that works in effects, I know that the center, if you're going to do an effect, especially if it's a transition, you start at the center point. I yeah. mean, so... I, I, if she was if she was on the left side of the screen and the firework went and hit her on the head, that could show that it was a deliberate yeah, action, yeah. you know, deliberate targeting, and then maybe some subliminal message or something. Yeah, but yeah. I, I well, I think it's like, very strange. You know, look, look, look. If if they had if they had something, you know, they would have used it. They would have milked it. Number one, YouTube would have shut the channel. Um, maybe even shut my channel down. They would have shut the video down, they would have, um, yeah, they would have made a complaint, the police would have been at my door within like a day, um, you know, why, why, why hasn't the police been to my door yet, or, you know, they could have been waiting for me on Sunday, uh, Sunday is gone, they, uh, you know, so, and not only that, look, just out of courtesy, what I did was, I um, edited it uh, via YouTube, um, YouTube editor, so you know where it goes, where it says enhancements or something like that, so what yeah. I did was, um, I edited uh, blurred that bit out and what happened was um, it was like it, it was processing and it came to 26% and then what happened was I thought you know what let me switch my um, MacBook off so I switched my MacBook off out of the, I just switched it off and um, then about half an hour later I'm on my iPhone I thought let me check has the uh, processing like finished 100% I've noticed about an hour hour and a half later it's still stuck on 26% then the next day, on Sunday, um, I, I see it's still stuck on um, 26%. So what I did was, I contacted uh, YouTube, Google YouTube, and I told them the situation. And I said to them, look, I made some edits. It's stuck on 26%, and it's not loading. It's not like, you know, it's still the old clip is still there. So today I've got an email from them. They sent an email to me saying, we're really sorry, there's a glitch in the system. Uh, and looking into it, our engineers are looking into it. Um, we'll be in touch. So I've yeah, editing you know. editing on YouTube is horrible. I've I yeah. tried it a couple times, and it it just takes forever. Even just putting yeah. effects over the videos and stuff, it's not. Uh, yeah, that's that's why it's not popular. But uh, I'd like to make a point that's quite humorous when I think about it. Lizzie, okay. she got mad about the previous day or the previous time with Paul comparing her to a Nazi. And then she uses police intimidation against you, making you think like maybe the home office or, you know, MI5 is going to come and kick down your door. Mm. She's almost using the same tactics that the Nazis used, you know, beforehand yeah. with the Jews, even with this situation, me. you know? Yeah. Yeah, that was the whole intention. It was just to give me grief, like, and uh, get my channel down, get that, get the Because look, they're embarrassed with that uh, because they know they look bad and we. Or really got, got to the, so got the, actual, the actual focus here is shifted. Rather than people uh, focusing on what she wrote about the hijab, which is uh, the actual trigger for this discussion, and showing yeah. that she actually was, uh, she used some comments that are not tasteful, yeah. she shifted the attention now to uh, special effects yeah. on a video. Yeah. yeah. So, um, yeah, yeah so she wants she wants to move to the role of the victim and somebody threatened. But we need to ask the question. Number one, has Jay Smith, out of anybody who always claims that he's going to be killed one day by Muslims, has anybody yeah. ever been harmed at Speaker's Corner? Any Christian have ever been harmed there? Apart from apart from today, apart from our video was wrong. Did, apart, from, apart from today's video on um, Patrick's uh, channel. Um, yeah. Other than that, I, I can't remember. I haven't heard anything. I, I think the main the discussion point should be the article written by Lizzie. She's diverting yeah. the attention on her from that article that Paul was trying to point out. Yeah, and she didn't respond to the debate uh, challenge as well regarding that. It's a deflection from the article. Yeah. Yeah, because the question should arise. I mean, I think she does know. I think maybe she was prompted by Jay Smith to write that article, and then she realized what she was doing because she's okay. not talk. She's not debating Islam. What she did was. She reacted to something Nike did. That was her article. And then she went on a tangent about what happens to women in Islamic countries. And so, so you have to ask, what was her purpose behind that article? 
right? Has anyone actually seen the video that they did? The Fanta, Fanta cameras were there on that day when Paul confronted Lizzie. They were recording from the other side. And then yeah. what happened is after the, uh, the Paul's confrontation, immediately after, they stood at a, they stood at a distance discussing that confrontation. And uh, Jay was actually feeding her a lot of the lines. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You could be right that he's behind some of this ideas. Yeah, but yeah. what Jay does is, with his followers, he ratchets up this paranoia. And I think uh, we really shouldn't be focusing too much on Lizzie. The real focus should be on this Jay Smith character. I agree yeah. with you. Yeah. I said yeah. that yeah. uh, As Abu, you mentioned, the guy's on record saying he expects to be killed by Muslims. I've also got a cl video clip where he's pointing to Muslims and saying, you guys should kill me. You guys are meant to kill me, as well as other Christians. So this yeah. is the type of paranoia that he injects and instills yeah. into his followers. And this is why you get people like Lizzie Schofield taking a video effect out of context, thinking that it's a simulation of some guy, random guy, wanting to kill her. But I want to focus on something else, Saeed. You were standing maybe a matter of two feet away from her whilst recording um, that footage. Uh -huh. In that in that video clip, she's waving at Muslims who are a few feet away from her, and she's uh -huh. saying, "I love you, I love you." That's right? it. Yeah. And what I want to focus. Uh, firstly, I really didn't appreciate the way she uh, said that she was infantilizing Muslims, and this is uh, in complete sync with the way Jay Smith operates. He speaks to Muslims like they're infants, like little children. Yeah. So I don't, I don't like that. That's one of the reasons why I get involved in video edi editing, because I feel that they demean Muslims and they bully Muslims. So, um, I mean, myself, I don't go to Speaker's Corner. It's not really my scene. But um, what, I, what, I, what really got my goat is she claimed that she went to the police, etc. Why didn't she not wait, hang fire, yeah, pun intended, um, and wait for the following week, then confront you, speak yeah. to you in person and say, exactly. uh, yeah. why didn't, uh, what, what do you mean by that fire effect? And uh, if she really loves you, if she really thinks you're her beloved, why didn't she just That's do that? And, yeah. think, and think about this. He was, you were sitting there right in front of her and she yeah. felt safe. If you yeah. were, if you were going to harm her or was trying to make, cause why did she go to the police? Because she felt threatened or she claimed to be. Then, yeah. I mean, if you were going to do something to her, you had, you know, you had the perfect time to do it then and there. I mean, yeah, not, not only that, because out of respect and courtesy, what I did was uh, I, made the, I made the video private, and as I said, I edited it. I'm just waiting for Google, YouTube to um, update the system so that bit will like blur out out of courtesy. And not only that, what was it? Um, if she, say, for example, like you guys are saying, she should have confronted me the following Sunday or the week after. And all she had to do is say, you know what, Saeed, I didn't like that. Um, you know, I would have said, okay, Lizzie, I'm taking the video down. Simple. I'm, you know, I would have taken it off. All she had to do, all she had to do is just tell me, not happy with it, um, or explain yourself. I would explain myself, and if she still wasn't happy, I would have taken the video down. The reason I'm not taking it down now, I was just out of respect, out of my religion and everything. I thought, you know what, I'll blur it out. But I'm not going to take the video down now. Because the route they've taken, they should have taken the route. They should have asked me. They should have spoken to me. They should speak to me. It is clear. Yeah, it's common courtesy. Absolutely. Common courtesy. Yeah, common courtesy. Yeah. So I, I still, I, after all of this, after all this, I still like kept the video private for like you know from that night till I think uh, I can't remember how long, but I kept, you know then I put it on um, unlisted, and then I, I made it public again because after the when I went to the police station, when the police said, look, you've got nothing to worry about, and Plus, not only that, if I was like, if I was up to no good and I got history, then no traffic would I'm just drive walking past them yeah, at this time of the night. Yeah. Anyway, um, what I was going to say was, yeah, they. Um, she had a history. If you had a history of doing anything yeah, bad that's or something. It, yeah. If I, yeah. If I had, if I was like up to no good or anything, anything of those lines, then yeah, I would have like, you know, been, would have been worried. But I know. I'm an open book. They want to watch me. They want to listen to me. I've got nothing to hide. I'm an open book. Yep. I'll be told. So, you know, I've got nothing to lose, nothing to hide. I'm not worried. So, I don't know. I'm, I'm just really disappointed. And I for, I have seen it with my own eyes now, the tactics that they, they use and they try to do. And now I'm really, 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 like, I'm upset. And, um, I've, like, you know, Lizzie goes to me 
Jesus said to me that uh, one of one of Sundays, one of, uh, I think it was about two weeks ago or three weeks ago, she said, uh, we want you to come to uh, Christianity. We love you uh, because we love you so much. We, uh, uh, we know we want you to come to Christianity. And I said to her, Lizzie, I think what you should do um, was try to be kind. You know, if you want us to join your Christianity, the way you guys, the approach that you have, like the, the venom, the anger, the hatred, and insulting our prophet, and I said, that route, you never will, you know, will uh, make us go to Christianity or anything. Like never. It's just never going to happen. So, yeah, yeah. And, uh, and after this, after this, what she did, you know what? I, have, like, I know it's not good to judge the whole of Christianity like that, but unfortunately, people do. People do. I, I, you know, everyone does that for some, you know, it's not right. But like I said, I will never, like Lizzie, if, you, if you're going to hear this, what you did to me, and tried to do to me, and and you did, yeah. The, the grief, the tension you caused me, I will never, ever, even think about uh, joining Christianity or anything like that. Never. It's it's hate. It's it, they're they're using. It isn't theology, and this is the problem that we're constantly uh, ex explaining to the Christian people that are debating us, and why there's a difference between Islamophobia and actually criticizing Islam. Islamophobia yeah, they, they, is you want a political, you want intimidation, and you want to ban Islam, and you want to exploit, um, you know, whatever political politics that are happening at that time, to to try to make Islam not be able to flourish within your Western society. That, and if you're using your apologetics to achieve that goal instead of just trying to debate us from a religious perspective, then you are taking part in Islamophobia, and you're yeah. using apologetics to achieve that ends it's different yeah, great point great point i i just want to just to be fair to lizzie from my understanding that i've got from saeed uh, through personal conversations um i understand that she was a lot uh, well she was more friendly and nicer before she joined jay smith's group is that correct yeah yes mm -hmm. she was definitely uh, like karma or nice and uh, recently I've, I've seen a change in her big change yeah. like a complete like you turn like, I, I, you know, like. Oh, she's basically she's basically an ambassador of the hate speech now. So yeah, she's she like. She, they actually, she actually that. stands up on the stool now with Jay Smith, and uh, you know the show they put put on every Sunday. They pre tell the I don't know why they preach to the Christians. You know, they preach to the Christians. Part of it now, and um, her language, her ter like her labeling. Every, it's just completely it's changed. It's gone to the extreme level. She's gonna. She's an extremist. So there, are, there, are, there are two now. types of Lizzie, and I've noticed the Lizzie that's not preaching is really nice, very friendly, and really extremely nice, polite. The Lizzie that's preaching is full of hatred. Yeah. So when she's not preaching to you, she's, she's the kindest person you can meet the way she talks to you. There's a word in it for yeah. hate preacher. <laughs> you know, so, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, female yeah. version. Yeah. When she preaches, she's full of hatred. Especially well, that's our theory then, you know, I think it's, it is true. I think that Jay Smith, he is, um, he's grooming these people because when you see them at Speaker's Corner, usually whenever they come together as a group, they have a common theme every Sunday. Yeah. And Jay Smith's the one that's leading it. So this week we're going to talk about this and then they go through, you know, what are your arguments going to be? And then boom, boom, boom. It's step by step. They, they groom them and teach them how to debate. So I don't, I don't, I don't really, I don't get, I don't get, I don't, I don't get it. The tactics because they say they want us to join Christianity, but the root that I don't think there is. The intention is to destroy Islam. That's the yeah, Jewish but Smith, yeah, they don't want us to join Christianity because if they did, they would have like say, you know, with Hikma, yeah, you know, like, you know, no, you, you go on, Brother Muhammad wants to give uh, give an input. Go on, you must say, go on. So, bro, I'm basically Samaritan. Uh, Why they come so? I'm sorry. Yeah, so, yeah, Echwa, basically last week, um, on Sunday that went by... It's all linked, it's all linked, you know, by the way. What we were saying about earlier, and you've seen the video, inshallah, if you haven't yet, then you put the link, inshallah. Uh, the guy that took it in his own hands to push Christopher off his seat. And as soon as I'd seen that, you know, there was a few people around, they all looked very intimidated. I went up and, you know, I've held this guy and I've pushed him away and I've said, listen, you've got two choices. You either go and apologize to Christopher openly, or you leave the park. If you bolt out of the park, the Muslim guy, you're, you're telling the Muslim guy, yeah? This is what I'm telling the Muslim guy. Muslim brother, yeah. yeah. 
now as this is going on, there's a bunch of, uh, you know, young kids. I mean, uh, you know, Arab kids, obviously, they're going to say that he's a Muslim kid. Yeah. And they've gone up and they've started to uh, victimize Christopher. And, you know, that's what they, they, that's what they believe. That's 16, 17, 16 year old. Yeah, yeah, 16, 17 year old. Hold on, hold on. Have you guys ever seen this guy there before? Never, never seen him before. I mean, for, you never, you know what, subhanAllah, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised. I'm not, you know, I don't want to propagate here but i wouldn't be surprised if he was actually called to propagate the situation himself yeah i mean it, it wouldn't be beyond the realm of possibility that if they got a little kid to come out there to pretend to be muslim yeah. and then start a fight or something was yeah. what happened to him yeah, Can you know you, what? You i won't put it past them no i won't put it past them no one's ever seen him no one knows nothing about him and he literally disappeared and i'll tell you what happened so after i spoke to him and he said no i'm not going to go and apologize and he wanted to go back and fight and i had to hold him with force and so he bolted out of the park. Now, as he bolted out of the park, I saw my cameraman, Abdul Hamid, you know, the brother that does all of the video work behind our channel. May Allah yeah. bless him. He, uh, I seen him start running about and he was pushing someone. And, you know, there was a bit of commotion now as well. You could hear a lot of people going, oh. And I've run up to him and I've seen him and a couple other brothers pushing another Muslim guy now out of the park. Now, the other Muslim guy is now bolted out of the park, the second one. Only little did I know that he's actually gone to Christopher, the same guy, who moments before got pushed off his chair, and he's given him a swing in his face. So he, you know, he knuckled him. Now, oh. that guy's gone now, subhanAllah. I've gone, now Christopher has now quickly gone to, uh, gone to the police. He's spoken to the police. As this is going on, a big crowd is forming and waiting for Christopher to be arrested. Yeah, basically to come back from the police, which he did do. As soon as he came back from the police, a massive crowd formed around Christopher. Christopher was there with his stool, and he was with a couple of J. Smith students. Yeah, one being that, that African lady, I think her name's Sarah, isn't it? Sarah, yeah. Sarah, yeah. yeah. Um, and he started talking, saying, look, this is Islam, this is the Muslim. Again, you know, he, yeah, he was saying it to everyone. And then these Muslim kids, again, they started surrounding him, or should I say Arab kids, you know, they started surrounding him and re really not giving him a good, uh, no. giving a good look for Islam here. Yeah. I've gone in the middle of the crowd. There was literally the whole of Speaker's Corner around him. No one was doing anything to diffuse the situation, so I took it for myself. Alhamdulillah, anyway. I'd gone into it, and I said, I said to everyone, look, do we not condemn this and the action that just happened? And they said, yes. I said, all right, do we describe this as, as, as something that is promoted in our Quran or in the seerah of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? They said, no, of course not. And then I turned to Christopher, and I said to him, Christopher, me and these people all here, on behalf of what just happened to you, we give you our apologies. Isn't that right, guys? And everyone's like, yes. And then I said, I turned to Christopher. I said, Christopher, may I get on your pedestal and just continue to defend you and, you know, show the, condemn, the, condemn what just happened? And he turned to me and he said, no, you may not. And he walked off. And it was, it was like this, wow. subhanAllah. He really did not like the fact that I was there trying to be a backbone for him. As soon as I left that crowd, bro, um, I... You got this all on tape, huh? No, I don't know who, who uh, got this. It would be. I'm sure it's going to come out. It was not a lot of time, and I was, I was afraid for Christopher at that moment, honestly, God, because it looked like, you know, at the very least, he was going to get some food chaps in his head or something. Now, hold up, hold up. You guys have been to uh, Speaker's Corner for years now, a lot of you guys. How many times has a physical altercation taken place? Uh, once in a blue moon. Once in a blue moon. Isn't it? And, and, and what happened just recently with this Christian convert? um the, that uh was arrested or because he was threatening to cut somebody's head off or something like that what took place that was, there uh, that, that was thing in it um christopher uh, yeah it's my that was oh all oh, right so basically this yeah. is christopher himself yeah Kurdish. he turned to one of our guys and he said to our guys speak uh, up, speak up a bit, yeah. he, he turned to one of our guys islamophobia tv that's his channel and he said to him and this was just after he got pushed off the chair by someone else he said i'm gonna cut your head off and he said it in Kurdish because he knew that Ismail himself is Kurdish and he assumed that no one else would understand and it would stay between them, obviously. But, you know, Ismail yeah. naturally is Kurdish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, yeah. Just, just to reiterate. So, so wait, a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. We need to establish here that this guy, his character is that he's very controversial. And that he's, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, my yeah. God. And he'll yeah, swear yeah. at you. Everybody knows that. He'll threaten you. So we've already established his character right now. So now yeah. he's trying He's trying to now be the victim? Yeah, check this out, bro, yeah? And this is where the situation, 
you know, where I can paint a bit of a picture. I can paint the brush over, you know, different mm. aspects of the situation and different characters now. So basically, the people now, the Christians have seen, number one, that I've, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm nothing, I'm not here, I'm not nothing. But all I'm saying, from the Christian's point of view, this is what they saw. Muhammad, me, myself, I've gone and I've, I've, I've pulled away the first guy and I've told him to get out of the park or apologize. They've seen that. Number two, they've seen me run up to the second guy to see what's going on, but he's run out of the park. Number three, they've seen me go up to Christopher and get the whole crowd's attention to, you know, speak for him and not against him and to condemn everything that just happened to him. And even I went to say in, that we condemn the Westminster attacks as well. And, that, and I advise people to stop using the Westminster attacks to propagate and, you know, uh, use, use this against us. Then, as soon as that happened, this Sarah, who's J. Smith's student, started saying, oh, and she started shouting it out. Muhammad is the one who started this, and he is enjoying every second of it, and this is Taqiyya. And then, there's a group of Ethiopian, Ethiopian, or, gang, gang, Ethiopian gang, yeah. gang, the little trio, gang, the trio. Little trio. Um, they saw this as well with me, and they started shouting, oh, it was Muhammad, Muhammad started this. And it was just like, uh, just like the guy from the Westminster attack. What, what was his name? Did they say his name? Uh, Mahmoud Khalid, Khalid, Mahmoud, whatever his name. Khalid Mansour. Well, they started yeah. First thing, they're, they're equating the fight or the possible fight that took place. Number one, they're trying to blame you for it, that you're starting it, or, or Muhammad. Yeah, no, yeah, not only that now, bro. Now, you know the video that's just gone up? Okay. Yeah, this video that's, that's just gone up now. Christopher being pushed by who? By Muhammad. They put the name of Muhammad. Now, I don't know if that's a coincidence or not, but, you know, I'm just saying, again, I wouldn't see past it being part of this whole propaganda yeah. and propagation here. Because that guy's not called so, he's not, Well, no one knows who he is. Yeah, His yeah. name could be called Charlie for all we know. Yes. You know, but I'm just saying that this is how they work together in their devious ways, and they really are there, as Sayyid said. They are not there to uh, preach uh, Trinitarian beliefs. They are not there to preach Christianity. They are there to destroy Islam yeah. by any means necessary. Any means necessary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I mean, so now they're using yeah. intimidation. Before they've been trying a couple of different tactics. Before they would try, you know, going and interrupting you guys and just barking, you know, or chirping for nonstop without answering questions. Now they're trying to move to another tactic. Then, uh, yeah. of intimidation it appears. Um, and starting fights and getting Arab or Arab converts to speak in different languages and insulting yeah. people and threatening people to um, start fights. And then with people, Muslims that we don't even know and are not regulars, possibly they, Muslims, actually they fighting. They there and then we're, yeah. um, well, I'll, so well, what, I would say it's very funny how, oh, and then guess what happened after that, guys, yeah? So forgive me. So as soon as this finished, yeah, there was yeah. one last little thing. So now uh, an Asian looking guy, can you remember this guy? Yeah, yeah the blue yeah. jacket guy. Remember this guy? The blue jacket. Know, this <laughs> yeah. Asian guy, everything now has started to calm down and disperse, alhamdulillah. Muslim this guy. Asian guy yeah. stood in the middle of speaker's corner, supposed Muslim, Allah knows best. Yeah. He has a blue jacket on, the front of his jacket has the Great Britain flag, and the back of his jacket Britain, yeah. is Britain, Britain yeah. big, white, bold, capital letters. This one is I'll jacket. show you the videos. I'll show you the videos. Yeah, he's got videos up. And guys, when I tell you this guy, uh, a wolf in sheep's clothes, well, he wasn't actually a wolf in sheep's clothes, well, he was saying he was a Muslim, and he was going around saying, you sell it, you Sunnis are Wahhabis, and he started riling fights, and he was trying to rile up debate with Muslims who were trying to defend Islam because he was attacking Islam and the Muslims, exactly. and yeah, then, you've got, then you've got all of the Christian channels that come and started recording him, yeah, mm -hmm. including Titan TV, who has a very biased, influential channel, and they deal with all sorts of kufr. Yeah, but nevertheless, I'd seen this. Again, no one had attempted to stop him. What they tried to do is rally his comments, you know, and isolate his comments and send them back towards him with some kind of sense. And this yeah. is where they thought Hikma was. So I've gone up to them and I've asked them to speak to him and, and advise him to stop. But they'd already been so, in such a heated way now that I'd literally thought, you know what? Uh, I'm going to have to talk to him myself. So again, I've gone up to the guy himself and I've said, listen. I've said, listen, salam alaikum. I've said, um, what you're doing, there's no hikmah in this, all right? I've whispered to him, there's no hikmah in this. Um, you're in a place that we call towards tawheed. We're giving da'wah and now you've got a lot of kuffar around you. And I'm, whisper I'm whispering this to him, yeah? You've got a lot of kuffar around you and they're listening to what's going on here and it does not look good for us. 
and speak in public and speak in private about it. The guy responded to this out loud for everyone to hear and said, no, I'm not going to speak about this in private. I need to expose these Wahhabis. And then he turned to me and I said, what's a Wahhabi? And then he turned to me, he pointed at me and he said, you're a Wahhabi as well. Wow. And subhanAllah, akhi, wallahi, I'm telling you, everything on Sunday, it was like, it was like a battle royale, man. You know, I went to ask him. WWF, NWO, like it was literally like, it was a battle royale. And it was, it was minds against minds. And subhanAllah, there was so much dirty strategies being played there. Allah knows best what their intentions were and what happened behind the scenes. But what, can you guys, so what, what, what will you guys have plan? You guys need a game plan now. Um, yeah, for you. What, what does Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala say in regard to where, when they, when they pl- planned and plot to kill, uh, kill uh, Isa? Allah khairul makirin. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the best of planets. And we need it to Allah. We know that and we call it tawheed. And, you know, we always come with hikmah. With, with, with hikmah. We come with a general etiquette, you know? And these yeah. three individuals, number one, the guy that pushed Christopher. Number two, the guy that punched Christopher, and then this third plonker who just got up with this Britain thing on, posing as a Muslim, saying what he was doing. This was all contrary to, to however we've that. ever conducted our notes in this world. Yeah. Oh, and then that was another thing, I think. So basically, um, this guy, I spoke to him because he was basically calling everyone khawarij, including myself, and then he went on to say that um, anyone who is a khawarij is kafir, and then I went up to him, um, we made the adhan for Salah Maghrib, and then I specifically, you know, maybe a bit of pride got to me, but I, I, wanna, I wanted to put him in his place. So I voluntarily stepped up to take the salah, um, because I wanted to see, I wanted to leave the salah to make a point to him to see if he will pray behind me, because obviously through yeah. his terminology, he's made takfir against me. And as soon as I finished the salah, I wanted to go talk to him and say, well, listen, mate, you know, if you know so much about your deen and you're, you know, you're making takfir upon everyone here, and whatever it is, now you're, you've made takfir upon me through your chain of understanding. Now you pray behind the kafir apparently, so therefore you're a kafir as well, aren't you? But as soon as the salah finished, literally he bolted up. He bolted up and he... <laughs> yeah. Allah. He bolted up and he bolted away like... Uh... Yeah, anyway, you guys are going to wrap this up. And um, yeah, what I was going to say was, uh, now what we need to do is actually this corner hour, we need to like be careful and not, you know like they're going to be trying all sorts of tactics you know like to trap us bait us we just have to be very careful not bite and you know the way our prophet taught us how to do it you know with the hikmah treat them with love they do what happens with the yeah. they and, come and i think i think you guys need to reiterate constantly that there are that you have no control over people this is a public platform you have no control over people that are visiting there, and there are going to be crazy people that are going to visit. But you guys have an, have a couple of people that are very well known and that are usuals there at uh, a speaker's corner, and those are the only people that you're responsible for. You know, everybody else, if they come and they say crazy things, you you reserve the right to condemn it. Yeah. You reserve, you know, it, you cannot. It's not fair for them to automatically then place that upon you. And say, yeah. oh, that was a Muslim because it's going to happen, you know. That's what we they don't do. need they to do that anyway. Yeah, they, they, yeah. they do that anyway. Look at this Muslim. Bro, Look at that Muslim. You, you know what, bro? I'm a, I'm a white looking guy, you know. I, I'm a white looking guy. As I said, my mom's from Yorkshire. I'm planning to take to a, to a Qadis of Udur on Sunday and vocalize a little bit, as like you said, for people to understand and comprehend and to diffuse a bit of that, of that, you know, of that system of fear, that systematic fear now that is reminiscing um, amongst amongst the, the citizens of the UK, to be fair. You know, it's something yeah. that, you know, it's something that is definitely complemented by the, by the, by these, uh, you know, these arrogant troublemakers in speaking corner, and they are literally hitting the nail on the head. They are exploiting these Westminster attacks. Yeah. Really yeah. Are. Um, I, I'm thinking to just, you know, hit a few minutes there, inshallah, and hopefully get that a little bit recorded as well so we can put it up. And inshallah, if we are challenged by all means, because you know, you know, I'm going to remind people: do not judge Islam by uh, an ambassador or a weak ambassador or a Muslim. Judge Islam by the teachings, and I will bring some, inshallah. I will bring from the Quran. Uh, the thing is, our, the advice I would give is: record everything. Record everything. We are yeah. being in the corner now. We're having to apologize for everything that.
that moves. Yeah, yeah. It should be that corner. Yeah. I think what we're doing, we're being diverted by the big fish to go after the small ones, like Lizzie, Sarah, and all this. Whereas, what actually we should go after the man who's actually directing the whole thing. And the word mm. used is grooming, which is a, probably the correct word here. He's actually grooming all these students, minions, and they do the dirty job for him, and he's hiding behind them. We should actually yeah. go for that man. I think the right word is radicalizing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But yeah, yeah, just before we end this, um, have you seen, um, I put, uh, I, put, I think I put a picture up of uh, Beth and Sarah, um, a video. Um, I just put um, a thumbnail type of thing on the, 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 new, the new group I made on Facebook. Um, the, the, title, the title was, what was it? Terrorism, Terrorism, expert. Terrorism expert. You know, Beth and Sarah. There's some Muslim terrorism experts. What, no Muslim what sort of um, experts are they? There's a Muslim on the front. Yeah, there's no Muslim on the front. All they're doing is inciting hate. They yeah. are inciting hate. They are a hate group, like Brother Paul said. They incite hate towards Muslims. They they add fuel well, let's to the Islamophobia part. Let's, let's not forget as well that they are... Guys, hold on, hold on. I don't mean to cut across you guys, but they are experts. Let, let me just clarify something here. Yeah, I am, if they can be experts in a field that they have never studied, then I am the Pope. So I'm going to ask <laughs> you guys, <laughs> that referring to you guys, okay? Anyway, you know what? Allah is the best planner. You know? Allah is the best planner. And well, hopefully the Christians will see. You know what? It, um, actually, uh, I'll quickly, I don't know if you guys got something to add or want to ask me. Uh, getting late. Um, the last thing I wanted to add to this was um, last Sunday when what happened was we were praying I think Asr Salah and um, a, a, a Danish sister, a non-Muslim, what happened was um, she was like walking up and down while we were praying. And I could obviously side of my eye see someone coming up, walking up and down. We couldn't, we had for sure. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, <laughs> and as soon as I did Salam, um, obviously, like my eyes just, she was like coming towards me, and I just, I, my eyes went, I looked at her, and because I looked at her, she came straight to me, and she goes to me, uh, Excuse me, are you allowed to do this? And, um, and I said, Look, uh, we are, but if it offends you, we won't do it here again, so we're sorry. She goes, Oh, no, 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 um, it's nice, it's good that you're doing that. I'm actually reading the Quran, and, um, you know, I'm halfway through it. And I'm close to, close to taking my shahada. I said, oh, really? So that's good. And then we, we had a chat. And then she dropped, dropped like a bombshell. You know, She goes to me that, look, what happened was I, I used to come to the park and listen to Jay Smith. And I, all I hear is hate, 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 hate. And I had enough. And then I started to look into Islam. And then my, I had some Muslim friends question, ask the question. And then she said, um, all he does is hate, hate, hate spreads, you know, inside hate. And, um, you know, and look, like I said, Allah is the best planner. And look, look at her. She looked in the Quran, halfway through it, she's close, take, close to taking the Shahada. Inshallah, she'll be she, soon. And we told her, look, come every Sunday we're here, just come and approach one of the brothers. And inshallah, if she does, I will, you know, like, I will say to Jay personally, Jay Smith, Joseph Smith. Joseph Smith, thank you very much for sending people to us. Yes, sending people to see another. Yes. Yeah. So, yeah, and she's from Denmark. And, uh, you know, so so make dua, guys, for her to take her shahada soon. Shah Amin. Shah Amin.